Hey, y'all. Um, I had some free time this afternoon in my studio, so I decided while my guys were at basketball practice, I was going to play around with a gift that I got, this new standing baby. And um, I had picked up this basket. Let me see if we can pull up. I had picked this basket up a while back with the intention of using it kind of like a fine art um, sort of thing. So let me show you guys. This is me playing with the baby. Let me, here we go. So I'm trying to hold it with my hand. That's not working. So I decided to get out the poles, those black poles that hold. There you go. You can see it a little better. So I tied it on that and Matt, and then we got the two shots of the baby because I thought I'm going to play and see if I can get myself a plate, which is this, and I am going to, I think, put that in Dropbox for you guys, so there'll be a link on my website to it, so if you want to be able to play later and uh, put a baby in it yourself, you can. These are all over Etsy now where, you know, nine or ten dollars, you can buy the plate and then put, put your own baby in it. My recommendation is to always make sure that your light is coming from the same direction. So my light was over here to the right of this photo. And when I put this stand in baby, you can see here's a bright spot. So the light's this way. You can see the shadows kind of falling under here. So if, if you don't get your lighting right, it doesn't look that great. So anyway, long story short, let's get started. Um, let's go over here and cut our little baby out which is so easy. I intentionally use the same fur down at the bottom to make it a little easier when I pop baby over into Command J and then go up here and just drag your baby over um, so that it would be easier to blend. Command T and Shift. We are going to downsize this little creepy baby and see what looks kind of like no it looks like a baby size to me this is always the hard part for me kind of judging size like that's kind of too big I think maybe that might not be too bad I think it should curve some though maybe I don't know let's see all right so click OK we're gonna make a mask get a black brush and I like to start about 50%. Let's get up here quick and see if we can see. Let me start brushing some of this off. And if you notice, see how it's nicely blended in there? And it's making my life terribly easy. When you guys use this template, it might be a little harder unless you have like some of that matching. I don't even know what that stuff is. To me, it looks like the hair that the birds pick up when I brush out my horse and use, they use it for a bird nest. And that's kind of where this whole idea kind of sort of came from for me. Um, I noticed one day when, let's get all this stuff off here too, whenever I was uh, combing out the horses that the birds were kind of flying around and grabbing that horse hair and um, using it for bird nest. So I thought, well, that's kind of cool. Maybe we should, V, I'm gonna pull this over a little bit. See where we kind of are at. Okay, back to my brush. So I thought it would be kind of cool to um, kind of do something with that. So anyway, my inspiration comes from the strangest of places. Today I was at IKEA, which is like. I kind of like the store, but I don't like the idea of like being like a rat maze having to go through the whole store. But anyway, long story short, Scoot wanted a desk and I'd been putting it off and I thought, well, I'll go today. And I was in there doing that and I came across these really cool kind of sticks, but they're just straight. They're not bent. They're kind of sort of like this. And of course, you know, everything that is outdoors and all natural I'm game so I saw that and I thought oh inspiration so anyway I never know when it's gonna hit me but um, sometimes it sits around like this basket has kind of sat in the studio for quite a while 
until I just got a free moment and I thought, oh, we're going to try that and we'll use it with that little fake baby. If you guys don't have one, um, they're kind of cool. I mean, you know, if you don't have a baby on hand, most of the time I do, but I, I would have to, uh, like, have someone bring their baby over and let me try this because I would never try it with a client baby you know I'm too busy trying to make sure I'm getting good shots so I probably wouldn't do it with their child it would be like a model so at this point it's kind of cool because then I don't have to do that I can just like get out this baby and it's last minute and I can I don't like where that's going let's back that up a little bit you can go over here to history and back it up if you want to or you can be like me and keep hitting command C this was actually there before. Let me uh, have this poo thing dig it up a little bit if that will help us out some of that might. Maybe. Let's back up here a little bit. Hmm. Look, I'm just trying to see if I can get baby. A little bit more, maybe. I don't know. Then I feel like baby gets lost. Okay, so yeah, I could just go over with this all day, probably. But we will stop there. Anyway, let's go back to like on off to see where we're at. And you can see it's kind of easy. There's some stuff going on down here, but let's get rid of that. I'm not sure what it is, but um, I do edit with a Wacom tablet which I like if you don't have one you should editing with a mouse is like trying to edit with a potato to me now it did take me a little bit to get used to this like I'm tablet but once I did now I feel like a little that I just get to color all day instead of like edit edit that bothers me so Um, like I'm not going to spend all day trying to clean this up, but you guys get the idea. So, alright, so I'm going to make, what is it, shift, command, B, is that it? I'm sorry. Alright, so let's go here, get your stamp tool, and take that out. It is kind of just bugging me, but it's whatever. Okay, so zoom out here, and let's see where we're at looks pretty good. That, that baby has like a big old head. <laughs> oh, okay, so ta-da, there we go. Baby's in there. Pretty good. And then, oh, 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 I know what I want to do. Go up here and grab your little lasso tool and see how there are shadows here. Sometimes, I mean, I am kind of like I feel like if you darken that and kind of make it look like a shadow, because there will be, there should have been shadows on that side if the baby had actually been there. I feel like it kind of grounds the photo, don't you? Can you see that where it's off and on? Um, and I don't know about you guys, but this feather tool up here, I love. It kind of blurs out those edges and makes it blend. Let's get back and uh, grab a little bit of maybe in here kind of look like there's a little shadow take it down in curves there blend it out a little bit and let's see let's do those together and you guys can see what they look like and let's see I don't, I don't know about you guys but I kind of feel like that grounds it a little bit otherwise I mean I don't know if you can tell that it was stuck in there like that but I kind of like the shadow in there Okay, so there you go. Quick, super easy, and the secret for me, I know a lot of people like do a lot of cutout stuff. The secret for me is whenever you're making yourself one of these templates, like I did previously, let's see if we can go back in history, 
to what we had to start with, that. So this right here, to me, is the secret key. You have whatever the baby's laying on in this photo is what the baby's gonna be on in here. And then it makes your blending super easy. So there you go. Um, let's see, let's do like a little, do the camera over here, then you can get back more. So here we go, baby's in there. There we go, baby's in there. Um, so yeah, baby could have been a little bit smaller maybe, but I mean, obviously the picture is about the baby and not the basket, but I kind of do like the basket. There you go. I am excited to stick somebody's baby in there. So I have my template over here. Clean all that kind of crazy stuff up. And there you go. You got it. Stick a baby in there. You guys have a good afternoon. Bye. Options. Turn it off. Are you quit? Quit. You want to save?